Welcome to this week's Ask GMBN, where we get to answer all those questions that you've been saying in the comments down below. Hashtag Ask GMBN. We pull them out, we try to answer them. Yeah, we do our best. Don't and we? we've got some technical ones. Oh, God. So I brought you in. <laughs> That's why you're here. Hey, Henry, do you want to just do, do yeah. the fun questions today? Hey, yeah. do you want to do all the tech ones? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, well, I'll, I'll do my best shot. Right. You ready? Yeah, First let's questions. go for it, I reckon. First question is coming from Crab Joe. Oh, Crabby Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Was he from the pub? Yeah, I know oh, him. Oh. <laughs> right, he's one. He, he's 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 new to this. He's new to this. Right, cool. So it's his first bike in over thirty years. Oh, awesome. Um, he needs to understand hubs and how they fit. Oh, right. And he says, "Please school me." I bought a Vitus Nucleus 27.5 VRX. So after watching a bunch of YouTube videos, I feel as though I need a spare set of wheels. Oh, okay. So he's. He's got his front one already, it's easy, but the rear one, which is a 135 by 10, uh, he's, oh, it's a WBTSTI12, just a 29. It's, right. it's, it's a technical question. <laughs> Lots he's of struggling numbers. to get the rear one. Yeah, I mean, hubs mm. can be a bit of a, you know, quite quite a confusing subject. Yeah, but he did say he's got a 100 by 15 boost on the yeah. front. Yeah, no. I mean, well, I say there are three layers to this. Mm -hmm. First one is, I mean, you just come back from. A pretty hard mega hard avalanche, mega avalanche ride. Hard I mean, you probably haven't got many teeth left and been shaking around so much. These are fake now. <laughs> but I notice he says he thought he needs to get a spare set of wheels. Mm. Now, I mean, it's nice to have a spare set of wheels, yeah. but someone that's just ridden, how did your wheels hold up after doing such a gnarly thing? Uh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, having a second set of wheels is nice, but I would say, I think... Sometimes people, you know, on YouTube videos, we probably do it without realising mm. it. We say, oh, so I get my spare sec second yeah, set of wheels. We'll get our seconds on. And you think it's mandatory, but yeah. really it isn't. And I think, you know, I wouldn't be dissuaded by that and yeah, feel yeah. you've got to go splash the cash mm. for something that perhaps... You Unless you've got the cash to splash, <laughs> you can yeah, go buy Why not? Go wild. Yeah. <laughs> second, second point is he mentions, yeah, 100 by 15 mil. Mm. Now, this is kind of perhaps a bit, gets a bit confusing. So you get boost spacing and non-boost spacing. Mm. Non-boost is 100mm wide in the 15mm axle, and the boost is 110mm wide. Mm. Now, it's not just the outer edges, it's not just the um, the width of the hub in terms of end cap to end cap that changes, but also where the brake mount sits. Okay. It's, it's your flange um, your flange spacing. Mm. So, I would say that maybe there's a, a bit of confusion there, because 100mm wouldn't normally constitute boost, it would be 110mm. Yeah. Third point... Well, <laughs> told you we got is, three uh, so you get one four eight, one for, which is boost, and then yes, you're right. You used the old standard which it replaced was one four two, and that one four two, and one three five which he has currently got, mm -hmm. have the same hub spacing. Mm -hmm. So the chain line and the brake mount are going to sit in the same place. Mm -hmm. So one four two and one three five the same. It just depends what sort of axle you want to run in there, okay. which is comes from your end caps yeah well, he's got 10 mil axles so that is a quick release yeah a quick release yeah sometimes people think so when you go off um, the diameter of an axle say 15 or a 12 mil axle or a 20 mil axle then that is this literally you can see it you can put your ruler on it yeah with the quick release often people think that's the diameter of the quick release skewer but the axle is actually oh. sitting inside of the hub the skewer is there just as a clamp okay so um yeah you could put a 142 hub and just change the spaces. You've got lots of options then. Some hope wheels will be yeah. something like that. You know, yeah, yeah. That, lots of adjustability. Yeah. And yeah. Ah, there you go. Very technical question to start off the uh, yeah, I mean, I've Ask GMB. Quite a mouthful. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it is technical, isn't it? Uh, don't worry, we're all in it. If you don't answer the ask a questions, you're not going to get an answer. Yeah, totally. That's so it, totally. you're not a noob. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry about it. So next question is from Gary Collier. Mm. And he says, can you explain the reasons for whistling in downhill racing? Yes. What is it? It's marshals to uh, warn the other marshal that a rider is passed through that marshal's gate. I always thought, I always thought they had like border collie trials nearby. <laughs> yeah, just, just hearing that, come by. Come <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's just to let the uh, marshals know that there's a rider coming through down the track. Oh, I suppose then if they don't see a rider, they yeah, don't see a rider. Then riding. Because I thought it was when you're. I mean, it probably happens a bit more to me than it, it does to you. But when I'm racing, very rarely yeah. racing is a loose term. When I'm <laughs> attending a race, yeah. and I, if you hear if you hear a whistle as a rider, yeah. like toot, and then a second one you know there's somebody behind you that you mm. might not know about. Yeah, how do you know that one? I mean, it happens to me a lot, probably just doesn't happen to you, but oh, you yeah. get too fast. Yeah. <laughs> so if you had two whistles, <laughs> it's like the uh, yellow, red, no, what's the flag? Oh, the flag, yeah, flag yellow, and... green, 
Yellow means wash, uh, caution. Warning, yeah, Formula yeah. One. Green means all go. Yeah. Blue is like get out the way. The That's faster it. car combined. There you go. Two whistles, blue flag. Nice. Right, next question coming in from Darren. He says, when filming Road Bike Party 1 and 2, oh, yeah. did you modify the bikes in any way? Did you use the standard hubs or replace them with trials hubs? Or were they completely stock bikes? I'd like to add yeah. that they were completely stock bikes. Yeah. I was there for one, you were there. two, and three. Oh, wow. Uh, helped film them both, all three of them. Uh, yeah, completely stock. Everything's it's stock. It's pretty amazing, eh? Uh, it's so good how strong carbon fiber and road bikes are, really. Yes, totally. Yeah, yeah. But road bike 33 with Sam Pilgrim, he pushed the limits <laughs> to the, uh, <laughs> the road bike, uh, let's just say. But no bikes were harmed. Well, okay, so discussion point. Do you think it's fair to say that Every road bike is a gravel bike if you just take comfort out the window. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> just put some skinny knobbly tyres on the <laughs> They can all go on the dirt roads. <laughs> no, awesome. And I think it's, yeah, testament to, you know, how strong stuff is. And I definitely think I was actually watched them all again really? last month, oh, had a bit of a binge watch. And they were equally, equally amazing yeah. this time around. Yeah, eh? yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll throw to them now and you can have a little ganders. Pretty good, huh? What you can do on a road bike. So good. Blows mm. my mind every time. It's pretty, pretty unique how they did that. Right. Next question. Straight into it. Anthony he says, hi, guys. Hello. Um, I was just just wanted to ask advice on this matter. I bought okay. Suntour Deluxe, which has a 110 times 20 mil axle. It's another question for wheels. Oh. <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> Unfortunately, the wheel set I bought was a 110 times 15 mil axle. Is there any way I can use the wheel set or should I buy a new one? The wheel set, a Dart, uh, Dartmoor Cruiser. Your answer will be much appreciated. Thank you. You just have to change the cups. Uh, hey. <laughs> I hate hubs. <laughs> ah. right. Just change so, it 10. This, this is the score, right? Oh. So 110 mil yeah. by 15 mil yeah. is boost, right? Oh. But prior to that, 20 mil hubs have always been 110 mil in width. width. So now you get 110 mil boost or 110 <laughs> mil not boost. And um, why do they do this to us? We're nice people. We don't deserve it. <laughs> and it's sorry, all Anthony. about maximizing the width of the flanges mm. to generate more stiffness. There's actually, on the old style, there was actually kind of a lot of real estate not going to use. Mm. So they widen the flanges to get a stiffer and better interface. But yeah, it does muddy the water somewhat. Oh, sorry about that. It looks like you're going to have to buy another hub. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can get adapters. Um, so maybe speak to whoever imports Dartmoor. Mm, to the and, Philippines. Yeah, and you'll, you know, that, that'll be that'll be your best bet. So, yeah, I mean, we used to have this problem. It's not like working on race teams. We'd mm. have this problem because some, like, the first year they bought in Boost, half the hubs yeah. they sent were Boost, boost and half, half were non-Boost. <laughs> And then you'd be, oh god! But you can actually, if you go from a, so is your fork boost? Yeah, his fork is boost. So, no, his fork's not boost. His fork's not. <laughs> but he's bought a boost hub. Yeah. Then there's nothing you can nothing do. Nothing you can do. If it's the other way around, you can just basically space it out. Yeah, yeah. But the the disc would be, almost be grinding. But the Suntour Deluxe is a one ten by. 20 so you're saying that's not boost yeah no. i'm very sorry and there you go we've answered the question that's a very sad question I'm to sorry. answer i'm sorry that's a real pickle yeah my ne head's fried yeah next question next question <laughs> so this is from i'm assuming it's the andrew robertson the champions league winning whatever football player the one that plays out back yeah wow do you reckon it is he watches the show whoa hi hi up. Hiya. yeah nice nice to meet you i feel a bit nervous now i feel nervous <laughs> Carry on with so, the Andrew Robertson says, I have a Santa Cruz Toolboy 2, nice. and I have upgraded my fork from a RockShox Brain 100mm to a Fox 34 120mm step oh, cast. 20mm so, up. Ooh, but it's the step cast, so super light. But anyway, yeah. he's done it with all the bells and whistles. Yeah. I have noticed that my ride times over certain sections of the trail right. that I ride are a lot slower. 
in particular the hills. Uh. Could this be due to the extra travel? How can I make my bike faster again? I don't want to go back. Do you want to- I don't want to go <laughs> back <laughs> to a hundred meter Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you said uphill. So when you're rising the front end of your bike, mm-hmm. you obviously it, going uphill is going to be even steeper. Yes. So it's going to be good going downhill because your bike's going to be level mm-hmm. compared to the 100. It's going to be like this, going down. Um, do you know, I think the quickest answer for me is try 110, lower it 20, 10 mil. Yeah, and you compromise. Yeah. Yeah. I Maybe think in between could be work. I just think, I mean... How many controls do we have here? Mm. Have you got a power meter? Yeah. Have you... T- it's so... Because so many times I feel stuff and actually I think, no, I've just oh, been yeah. a bit of a... Bit just of a, being... Been yeah. a bit prissy. Like, yeah. actually, it's completely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, If you have got all those stuff, then I will eat some humble pie at yeah. today and I'm really, really sorry because... Yeah. I mean, you're Andrew Robertson from Liverpool, I'm yeah. sure you've got a power meter. <laughs> <Yeah. know. laughs> um, I reckon just go down to 110, try that, and if that doesn't work, then... Probably live with 120 and see if it yeah, carry on. Maybe you can, you can better your times the more times you go yeah, riding. True. So hopefully that helps. Uh, yeah. but it's a lovely you, fork. That. But yeah, you do you do adjust the height of your bike on the front end if you're going mm-hmm. up in a fork. He mentions as well he's gone from the brain, which isn't is a lockout system. Okay. In itself, it's quite a. You will get better downhill performance mm-hmm. without the brain, even though it claims you don't I think yeah. realistically it's, it's not the case mm-hmm. um, so that's another factor but yeah, yeah, maybe. 120 more step cast is a great fork it is a great yeah it's a good fork let me get used to it mm-hmm. next question coming from Derek Smith which is the least of two evils carrying gear on the bike that affects bike handling or carrying gear on the body that affects comfort circumstances being a regular average ride more mm. well you know what I've ridden with a backpack i've ridden with a fanny pack and i've ridden with stuff on my bike and out of all three what i would like i prefer the fanny pack do you like the fanny pack? yeah oh, nice. i do carry minimalistic in my pack but i do have a tube on my bike that's about it that i carry on my bike um my bottle cage i have the topic ninja and that has a tool carrier within it Yes, that eliminates that from on my person to my bike. But depending on how far you want to go riding, really. Like yeah. I did the Mega and I did that with a fanny pack. Yeah, I personally prefer everything on the bike. Mm-hmm. Um, I was something of a trailblazer in the fanny pack game. I've been running one for years yeah. and actually stopped it. Okay. And normally, because everyone takes took the mickey at me hey, for my fanny what? pack. Yeah. And then my missus got one as like... A fashion accessory, and I was <laughs> yeah. like, I was ahead in that too. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one believed me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, it's personal preference. Yeah. Um, if you want comfort on long journey, then uh, maybe all on your bike. Yeah. But if you're going for a long, long one, then, you know, yeah. backpack is probably the, the best because yeah. you can carry a lot more water than just one bottle or two on your bike. Do you not like it though with, when you've got stuff strapped to your bike that it's always there? Yes, I like it. My just inner tube's <laughs> always there. Yeah. With two CO2. Yeah. And that's it. I have, yeah, CO2, one of those topic alien things. Yep. Uh, and it, it's got tyre levers on it. It's got everything. Everything's there. Yeah. And I can't forget it. Exactly. And you carry a bottle of water. I do. I do indeed. So maybe on your bike is pretty cool. Stay hydrated. We've done a video on this, on how to carry different stuff on your you bike did, or actually. on your person. That's so pretty good, that. Take a look at this video. Sometimes you're going to need to take some stuff with you when you ride. Yeah. To be fair, of course. Yeah. You've got super lightweight or carrying loads of stuff. Yeah, we'll tell you how we do it and basically how you carry all the stuff you need to get you out of a problem if you're going for a big ride. Now, I like to carry a backpack so you can carry baguettes, loads of snacks, and one for a backpack and yeah. a fanny pack. Maybe some cheese and wine to... Relax Ooh. with after a ride. Oh yeah, a bit of baguette. A bit of baguette. And some chip. <laughs> <laughs> right, this next question from Nick Figs. It says, "Hi guys. Hey Nick, how's it going? Wondering what are the pros and cons of skin wool tires? I love skin wool tires. I love them. I love them. Oh my, super cool. God, they do look bloody mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a technical answer to this, or kind is it just of is. like? Okay, so originally i think especially perhaps more with bike tires than you used to see gum walls on cars but i yeah. think this is specific to bike tires is the reason they had the the, the, the different colored sidewall that was often like white yeah because it was a cotton sidewall 
Now, with a tyre, you have a thing called a TPI, which is a thread per inch. Right. The higher the number, the more supple it is. Okay. If you imagine like four thread per inch, it's going to be really chunky threads yeah. that aren't particularly well, well refined. A really high weave, and you're going to get a more supple tyre that is basically going to give better grip, oh. better comfort. So a cotton tyre could have an incredibly high TPI. So, for instance, some standard rubber tyres would be like 70. A cotton tyre could be over 300, 330. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where the trend of having, from road bikes, it seems yep. to be coming from, having some um, different know. different coloured sidewalls. But I think it looks great. Oh, I, I didn't know that. There yeah. was, there's a reason why there's a different coloured tyre. Yeah, I don't think it... I think now they just pretty much colour them. Oh, right. <laughs> but it but was originally... Day, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, there was actually a specific yeah, reason because why they were different that material. Color. No Not way. just a different colour different colour of the same I material. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, so I mean... What I do you learnt something. What do you think of them? Do you like them? I love them. Yeah, especially when you've got like a black frame. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Super retro, nice. but modern. Mm. Looks Fast really looking. Clean. Really clean. Mm -hmm. Next question. This comes from Lightness YT. Oh. Oh, hello. Hi, Lightness. Oh, so, so does it matter whether you store your bike with the dropper post up or down? No, is mm. there can is there uh, can you? I, I don't know any yeah. pros and cons there. It, so there's a little chamber called the IFP, which is internal floating piston, and that is being pressurized further when the post is down. Oh, uh -huh. so if you leave it for times, it will the pressure is slightly increased. Okay, which can then give you the squishy bit, like getting reverbs. Yeah, yeah. The worst thing to do. I mean, it's okay having it stored down, but it's not the best. The worst thing is if you have it stored down, but then hanging. Oh, because you're putting pressure on the pull. Yeah, it's pulling back. You're trying to pull back, but it... Yeah. Ah, so, yes, then. But the, there is a... Yeah, the best way is to reduce the pressure on the system by having it at full extension. Full extension, not even half mast. Not, not even half mast. If, if you've got, a me like, a mechanical dropper with a quite basic air spring, it probably won't matter too much, but your hydraulic systems, such as your reverb, or your quite sophisticated systems, such as your KS, just leave it full extension. Well, there you go. I'm glad I brought you in, Henry. Cause I yeah, I'm kind of like, boring you to death. I'm sorry. No, man. I am learning, and so are these young people yeah. out there <laughs> yeah. are learning as well. It's like when you meet someone and you say, oh, you ride bikes too? Yeah. And then they're just like, so yes, my 1938 rickshaw. And you're just like, oh, my. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm bringing. That's that's the vibe I'm bringing. That's, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, but that's why I got you in for this, Ask Jim because there were some technical questions to be answered this week. Right, next question coming in from Anonymous... <laughs> Or Anonymous F H. So f or per her, like per Pharrell. Her. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe it's him. Another <laughs> another celebrity <laughs> viewer. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen Doddy shred down the trail and starts and starts straight into the bush. Yes. Will we see Henry shred the trail? Uh I can, I'll give it I'll give it a bloody good shot. <laughs> yes. We have filmed one. Yes, and we did the fastest presenter. Yeah, we did. And I, you know, you were faster than Doddy. Yeah, I was not not as fast as you boys, though. No, but y you can shred. Oh, wow. But we need to do a video <laughs> on can you actually shred. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I, th I think it'd be, be good fun. Mm -hmm. See what goes down. I think so, too. I think so, too. Now, if you want to see a video where Doddy can shred and went straight into the bush, take a look at this video. Hit it. I don't know where my glove's gone. Make some cold sweats about that bloody bush. Really? Yeah, it's just oh, absolutely. Not oh, 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 hi, guys. Oh, oh. Sorry, we were just talking he about. Have um, at all. Yeah, it doesn't we were have... talking about Andrew Fodd. Um, my, uh, my nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Your nightmare. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. Not Doddy's nightmare. No, crash. no. no, no, um, no. Anyhow. Anyhow. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> we have a great one this week. This one's pretty good. And I hope he doesn't have nightmares. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from DiCarlo who's from London, mm. and he says, I'm trying to learn how to whip Ooh. like you have instructed in your how-tos. Yes. I'm unaware if what I'm doing is correct because it looks like a scrub or maybe they are just baby whips. These are my first tries for whips. I crashed on my third try and Ooh. banged my knee real bad. Oh. But I got up and did more runs. Hey, get back on that horse. <laughs> yeah. I would gladly appreciate any advice from you. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love all your videos and I learned a lot of great techniques from you. Oh, Which is nice, nice to yeah. hear. Thank yeah. you very much. So let's have a look. Yep. You're obviously the 
the experienced dirt, the jumper of the, dirt. The jumper of dirt. <laughs> the air. Do you want to go jump some dirt? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how he does. Oh, yeah, they're baby whips. Play that again. He's kind of like, sort of. He's getting there. He's yeah. actually turning the wheel. You're dropping that shoulder. You're getting that back wheel out. You know where the best place and the quickest place you actually are going to learn a whip is that you're, you're whipping so your back end's going to the right. So if you find yourself on a left-handed hip, you can actually ride a hip and turn your bike because you can actually land sideways a little bit more on a hip than you would on a straight jump. But you are. It, you do say it looks like a bit of a scrub. It's not really. You've got the right technique. I think um, a little bit higher, a bit more time in the air, mm. and turn your bars, but when you're turning your bars, don't look to where you want to go because it's you're going to end up just staying locked like this. What you want to do is when you turn the bars, you push your hips out to the right, but you look to the right as well. So you basically look at your landing and then bring your bike back. But that is pretty good. It's yeah. pretty close. It's one of the things where I like practice. It is practice, practice, practice yeah. Practice, practice. Find a hip. If you can hip to the uh, left-hand side of that jump, so basically, you can, that means when you're turning off the lip, you're you're naturally going to whip out your bike because you're turning off the lip. Mm -hmm. So you are going to whip slightly. So that's it's pretty good. Yeah, no, pretty pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Keep keep going. But yeah, there you go. Right, thanks for watching Ask GMBN this week. Hopefully we've answered those questions in great detail because we've had Mr. Quinny here not to too answer. much detail. I'm sorry if, if you're still watching, if you've persevered through the boredom <laughs> yeah, tech, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Hey, no, I think they have. I think <laughs> they fighting. have. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to get involved and you want some questions answered, don't forget to hashtag AskGMBN in the comment section down below. And hopefully we can get your questions in the next show next week. Now, if you want to stick around, don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're missing out on some rad content. Yeah, totally. Such as we actually did the presenter week oh, the yeah. race, which we, we mentioned earlier on in the show, which is a pretty good watch. And you can go see it. Go check it out there. Check see how out. these boys got on. And see how this guy can yeah. shred. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, like if you ask GMBN. We'll see you at the next one. See ya. Cheers, guys.